Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is La Squatch and welcome back to Factorio Modded. So in the last episode we started up our world. We have this iron smeltery thing over here, we have copper down south, and we have power going in the northwest. Um, but since then I have installed a new mod which I think will make everything better. So it looks like daytime, doesn't it? Well in fact, it is! <laughs> That's poor timing. I've installed a Rumba's light mod. So now at night you have a little corona of light around you, so it always appears bright and so it will look better in YouTube videos. So I thought that was a pretty good addition. Uh, let's get rid of you, let's keep it on the electric mining drill for now, and we can finally start producing turrets. So I haven't yet come across an alien base, though admittedly I haven't played much since the last episode, and we only have one radar. Perhaps then we should increase the number of radars. Let's have four radars, and let's get rid of this gun because it's going to take a while to craft. And then we can increase the speed at which we discover new areas by four. That's pretty cool. But it also increased the power drain as well. So we see here it's consuming almost 300 kilowatts. So it'll be 1.2 megawatts afterwards, assuming it doesn't scale. And we are nowhere near producing that much. So we shall see if this actually drains the steam engines, or the steam engines will keep up. Nope. They are maxed out at 1 megawatt, it looks like. And if we put down a third radar, a fourth radar even, in total, then we are maxing out our power. So we need to increase our power production. And we will then presumably need to expand the boilers as well. And we still need to put a coal train up here too. So has this improved an area massively? I think there was some more down here. Maybe we can see one if we pause for a moment. Yep, there we go. Yeah, it seems to be going upwards. And I think each radar can examine a completely different area, so we'll see how that works out. So we need to produce more steam engines. Oh, by the way, my silent wireless mouse has broken, or it's become very laggy. So I'm using my old mechanical mouse, and I'm going to try my best to get rid of the clicks in post. But if I don't, then I apologize, but I can't really do anything else. Um, can we... is this producing enough temperature? Uh, that's dropping... that's dropping quite a lot. So the more drain... The, the higher the drain you have on the boilers, the less efficient they become. I think that's the right way to say it. So this will... the temperature's dropping... that seems to be stabilizing now, actually. Um, yeah, actually we're okay with... we're still okay with four. But this is dropping. And if we put another bo uh, steam engine on, then this would probably drop all the way to below 100 degrees. But we seem to be okay for now, and we're back up to producing more than we need. Sweet. So, any immediate alien bases? No, not yet. Okay. So we still need to work on producing science files automatically. So I'm still doing it manually, um, which is a pain. Where did they go? There they are. So, in order to produce military, we need 10 in total. So we probably need another six, I would say. So let's keep that going. But I think it's high time that we produce some factories. And the good thing about this is that you can produce them just temporarily. What are we low on? Iron. Um, oh, that needs to have some more iron in it. Take you out, put you in there. Good. We should probably make another few mining drills, actually. Oh, I already had one almost as if I'd planned ahead. So let's move you to there, put some coal in, you in, and then give you some power. Good. And we can put this down. So what we'll probably end up doing is making red science files here manually for now, and then feeding in to, um, feeding a belt system into this. But uh, yeah, Still need to link up the coal to the boilers and probably make a central area for production instead of having them like dotted around everywhere. Um, so I'm guessing like over here is for power. I'll end up expanding it all the way down. So it would therefore make sense to have production about round here. Maybe fill in this water with the landfill mod because we can do that right now. Water be gone. 
Let's give that a go, actually. I've never actually used this. Can you... Oh. Insufficient landfill to fill body requires 13 landfills. Wow, okay. Let's just produce all of them. <clears throat> I've never actually used that before. So it'd be interesting to see what happens if we do. So now that we have these two power states, these are two factories produced, we can do something quite cool. So if we produce cogs in this one, feed it iron, and then this will automatically feed into this one. And if we just supply that with copper, then it'll start making science files. And even better, if we move this down here, we can then automatically feed it science files when they're produced. So there we go. That's a very, very basic and small start to automating the system. So we still need to, yeah, route copper up to the central area. See now, can I do this? Requires the, I have 17. Why is it not letting me do this? Requires 13 landfills. That, this is called water be gone. Is there like something separate that's called landfill? Hmm. Flood fill bodies of water using landfills from your inventory. Wait, is this the flood fill? What? I don't want to fill. I want to empty. I want to turn this into land. Am I missing something? Land fill? Oh, I am missing something. Okay. It looks like I can't do that yet. Uh, let's just, well, just double check what that text thing said. Land fill. Used to fill in water that's in the way. Oh. So I guess we were, ma <laughs> we were making the wrong thing. Interesting. And very annoying. But, oh well. Such is life. And I just picked it up again. I'm a genius. So I will start to start... Let's start to start. I will start to produce belts. And ferry all of this up to probably here. I'll just create it in the middle for now. And we can always move it later. And see if we have still no alien bases. That's copper. Thought that might be at the edge of a base. Um, but now that we have turrets, we can start to put them down, produce extra magazines, and have a bit of fun, I think. So one of the first things I quite like to do is improve this iron setup so that it feeds onto a belt, and then, and then those belts feed into the furnaces, because these are getting blocked up very quickly with iron ore, and so we need a much more efficient way of actually processing this. So if we run conveyor belts over to the side, we can then set up a much more efficient system, um, which will take the iron ore off the belt and feed it into the furnaces and then t uh, take them out again and put them on a separate belt. So, that's we so for that we need to make some of these. These will feed iron ore into this. Um, we should actually bring coal up at some point, which will be on the other half of this belt. Um, ideally, you don't want to have half and half belts when it comes to ore processing, but this is early game, so we can get away with it. And of course, I forgot that these are involved in that recipe. <laughs> so we've just used up some of those that we produced. So if we then extend this out to this side, we can start to ferry that back into a central area. And should be very, very handy. So we need to insert... Have I got these run the wrong way? No, good. So we just have this for now, and then maybe just down for a bit. And then we can manually put in coal here. And they can have 23. There's a big um, surplus down here, which is very, very nice. Had those things going for quite a while now. So that can be filled. And then, oh, one thing I did forget is that you need to have a space in the middle here for the electric poles. So let's just do that. I know it's the most not the most efficient of wasting a sp Actually, I'm going to change this. <laughs> I need to be at least somewhat efficient, even though this is still early game. Otherwise, I will cry. So now we can have them a little bit closer together. And so import, import, export, export. And then we need to have that one closer to feel that. Let me put this call back in again. And there we go. So this is it's going to back up now because the furnaces weren't working. But we now have iron coming out, so we can f oops, feed this into a chest. It's already getting messy. <laughs> um, that's ugly. That's better. 
So I've put that one too far away. There we go. Oh my goodness, that's so slow. We've oh man, okay. Having those miners there is obviously causing quite the power drain. So now we need to increase the oh the okay these things are running out of fuel. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Go get more coal, get more coal. Uh, let's just take all of it, and then we can feed this. I love long reach, so handy. And now we can see the corona of light around us too. That's very cool. So. Oh, sorry, weird things happening outside. So, fingers crossed now, we have... Yep, temperature's going back up again. Are we going to see 100% here, or is it struggling? It's struggling a little bit now. So, this is the point where we should make some more boilers. It doesn't matter too much if you produce too many, either. So, some will just not turn on. Like, they're quite efficient. So, if we move you down to here... Oops. Put you one closer so it actually touches... And then fill these with coal. Oops, no. Coal. 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 We should now be producing... Oh, I thought we were producing more than that. Is it just not heating up? Okay, it is heating up. So now that you see that these ones are all 100 degrees, um, that's because boilers like to troll me. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, quite, I don't quite know the maths for this thing yet, but... Uh, these ones at 100 degrees won't use coal. So it's, I think it's only maybe this one. Yeah, this one's using coal. Uh, that one's using coal, that one's using coal. This one will use a tiny amount when this drops. But uh, these three will be okay for now. So we might actually be able to fit another one of these on. Let's see if that works. It should do, in theory. But again, I don't really know the maths. So now, how many of these are firing? That one's... Okay, that didn't seem to change much. Interesting. Although this is dropping. So maybe just equalising. So how are we producing now? Okay, we're doing well. We are doing well. So another cool trick um, on this is... That, oops. Uh, let's not do lights because we don't really need them. Long insert as one. No, okay, don't need to configure the range. Uh, uh, make a decision, me. Okay, let's do that. And you are almost out of cogs. So now we can just do bloop. And we have 169 plates. How easy is that? And you're doing fine with the copper. Let's just top you up it anyway. And we're actually getting to the point where we can afford a second lab. Because this is backing up in here. So that's pretty sweet. And this, the coal ore is backing up. So we should expand the furnace setup. So we can do that pretty easily. And of course we need iron because we are out of it. And it's hold F, by the way, to pick up items from belts. So, that is going well. How are the furnaces doing now that we've left it to balance for a little bit? They seem good. Okay, everything's going fine. Except for these that have run out of coal. You can have coal, and you can have coal. And you can... Nah, I don't know whether we need these anymore. Let's pick these up. They just produce pollution, and don't really give us anything useful. Um, except that we should have a second furnace, because I'm betting, yep, it's full of copper, copper ore. Cool. So, early game, you don't really need too much copper, but late game, it becomes quite an issue. Can we make, we can make fast inserters. Yes. So, these use more power, but look at the speed difference. So, picture that in your head. Boom. Yeah, twice as fast, I think. Um, does it actually say how much it is, how fast it is? No, but it's, it's, it looks twice as fast. <laughs> it's fast enough. Anyway, put, put it that way. So, right, let's expand the processing area. Almost forgot what it was called then. Let's expand the furnace array. Oh, we had exactly the, the right number of conveyor belts. That's uh, convenient. So, I know my lesson from last time. I actually didn't need to do that because I had some already. But it's relatively fast to make them anyway. Still pocket crafting. Once we get to factories, we're going to, of course, automate this process. Put another pole there, and fill you up with coal. Sweet! So if we wanted to auto-fill this with coal, we could very easily branch this off and have um, one going all the way to the top. Can we make splitters yet? We can. And if we make... Okay, we're missing iron... Iron plates. Yes, yeah, make a load, a load of conveyor belts. So ideally, we want to split it kind of... 
right at the beginning because we need to set it off to one side so we can produce the splitter or um, use the splitter. Does this deviate at all up to the top? Okay, I think this will do for now. We can always change it later again. Oh, tree's in the way. Die tree. And right about. So, yeah, we can ferry this coal up. So the production is quite slow at the moment because we've only got one miner going to it. It's probably, in that case, a better idea to split it right at the end. Let's do this and then reroute these. Good. So now we have three of them feeding into it. There's a bit of an uglier setup, but what can you do? Um, actually, there's plenty you can do, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> uh, not, at least just not yet. So now that we have more of these conveyor belts, we can ferry these up to the top. Um, oops. Branched off a little bit there, and then one more, and wrap these up. And because there's belt on the left of this, um, so if we got rid of that belt, for example, it would curve around, but we don't want that. We want to have another belt there, so that this comes on the the specific side and see how the loads on. So now we can automatically load these furnaces with coal. So if we took all of that out, for example, we should see once it gets to the end, this will pick up a coal and fill up the furnaces. Perfect. So that's exactly what I wanted to see, and it doesn't matter that these are on either side of the belt, because when it gets to this point, it'll all get on it'll get shoved onto the one side of the belt. And yeah, we are still we still need to expand the furnace array. This is this is exactly what I wanted to see. And of course we are now missing iron because I've spent it all. <laughs> yep. Transport belts are pretty expensive. They each take three iron. Or no, they, they take three iron but produce two, but they're still expensive. Point being. So we can now fit another smeltery setup and expand these belts and start pulling them in. So now we don't have to front load these with coal because they'll pull it in on themselves. And now we should see that we are actually smelting the, the iron faster than it's being produced. But then we can always expand the mining drills and so etc etc. The process repeats itself. And now that we have a coal supply up here, we probably need to increase the coal supply for a start. But then we can expand this all the way over there and snake this around the iron supply to keep it going. So that's pretty sweet. And now you can actually see that we're um, being able to smelt the iron ore faster than it's being produced. So now is a good time to put an extra drill down. And I think we can fit one in there. Might need to shunt that pole over a little bit. And then we should probably produce either exactly or a little bit more iron ore that we can consume. So if we press P, it brings out the production menu. <coughs> and we can see that we are consuming roughly, we, it was on 10 and then producing 10. So if we do a minute, because that's a little bit easier, we're consuming, well, we were producing more than we were consuming. <clears throat> Hence the lack of backlog of the iron ore. So now we are producing, are we still producing more iron? Okay, now it's balancing out. So we should see that there's no excess iron ore. I think that's how it works. Again, the maths is a little bit fuzzy, but I think we're Maybe yeah, we're just we're just slightly consuming more iron ore than we're producing. But if we then added another mining drill, then let's just make a bunch of these. Let's make all turn all of those into mining drills. Then we should see this value, uh, this value go up. And yeah, copper <laughs> copper plate production is pretty pitiful. Uh, we're only producing one science pack. Uh, oh, sorry, three science packs every minute. Maybe four. Fair yeah, three to four. That's good enough. Um, oh yeah, we didn't. We never finished off this uh, second science lab, so we can. Uh, I can't tell. Okay, plonk that down, and then plonk you down. And now we should be producing yes, science at twice the rate, depending if we can produce the science files fast enough. Uh, that looks roughly okay, <laughs> and we're just about to finish another assembling. Uh, we're just about to finish another research. Let's grab the sign. Opti I really don't want to make optics. Let's just do steel. That'll give it something to chew on for a while. Um, so we need to now produce, uh, supply this with iron plates, which are being funneled down to here. So we can always bring a belt round. Um, so I probably want to move this before I set up too many belts. Maybe have it like here. This could be like our 
gear production, which can then feed into a belt production factory, which would be very useful. Let's make a few of those, actually, in preparation. And the coal is being backed up, that's what I'd like to see, good, good, good. And yeah, the iron ore is producing, is being produced at an adequate rate, it's just shy. Let's get rid of that one, maybe that'll feed in a little bit more. Probably not, though. Oh, it's going to get lucky, yes! One iron ore! Congrats! Yay! Cool, so we seem to be balancing the iron ore and balancing the iron plate production. We can then move this factory setup over, so we don't have to keep like zigzagging belts around. And uh, we should be good. Right, well I've managed to rabbit on for a bit longer than expected. So I've moved the setup over here, just to save time. And I'm now going to add one extra inserter to this, uh, this process. And hopefully this will create an automatic way, actually two inserters, uh, two more inserters. And this will create an automatic way of generating science files. So if I then do this and this, we should be able to see copper coming in from the furnace, going up here, being put into this assembling machine, and then the magic can happen. Yeah, we're producing science files automatically. So we now have to do nothing. And if you press Alt, it shows you the contents of chests, but also the, con the uh, what's going on inside the factories. So this one's producing gears, this one's producing red science files, and we should see um, yeah, this has now got a red science file on it. That's because it's now researching. So that's pretty sweet. So I think that will do for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We uh, expanded our iron smeltery very, very much. So, words. That made complete sense. We expanded our, <laughs> our iron smeltery, I should say. And then uh, doubled our science production. Or doubled our science research. Um, but it would seem as though this machine's pretty slow. So I'm going to increase this as well. Uh, it seems to be only feeding one machine at this at this point. Um, so yeah, this will chill on the steel processing, so that'll be done by next episode. And I'll probably end up researching some more advanced machinery, um, also between episodes. So thank you very much for watching. I'd like to be very much appreciated if you have liked it. This has been The Squash, and I shall say thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next episode.